welcome friends so looking to get plenty of unique trophies from the fodder tiles well here's a sweet spot in dying night that you can find a spot that you can find that what you can't touch you from shall we say but you will have to have a few things if you can do it my way if you so called um, I do it the mine way where you get a ton of mines I will get to that in a second to where you can get the resources to do that either by the shop or finding it in the locations if you do it the right way you end up getting maybe 30 unique trophies a night using mines and um, fire arrows any way about it or even c4 going about it with the arrows way or the bow and arrow way um the shock works better it, if they're all close together they end up shocking each other which is that like group thing which is really good compared to fire or infection um it doesn't really do as great unless you upgrade it and then maybe it'll do great damage Uh, the thing about this is around maybe 10 um, fodder tiles will pop up a time but then you have to end up leaving the building to end up getting to get them all to chase you and come back in now the only thing about this is you don't want to die you die you end up losing all of it which is annoying but uh, as you kill them all, you make your way out the building, then you make your way back into the building. Because they get you, they get you, lose everything, lose the resources to see for all the equipment used on them. If you do want to get them away from you, you will you have to use the auto violent light that will save you. Saved me quite a few times, especially against these big guys. Now the location for this location, for the best location I would say for killing the full of tiles without getting injured or dying would be a Night Runner's um, hideout which is in Houndsfield. You could try it in the other locations like the looting locations but you know where you hide under the table but in the end they can sneak in and get you and then you're, it's not worth it in the end. Now the way I go about it is I upgraded it because if you, the more, the higher the upgrade, the better, the more damage, the more duration, the more meters it reaches. Sometimes it even kills me because I forget the range. But uh, the main resources you're looking for is scrap, cans, wiring, electric parts. Now the electric parts or the electrical parts are kind of difficult to come by but there's a few locations where you can get quite a medium amount, but the scrap's real easy. In Houndsfield, you have the Forsaken store, which is where you can find maybe about 5, 10 electric parts, but it's not as many, so you're probably better off going shop to shop to buy it. It's not worth that much, but... I will show you a few locations where you get about two, three thousand easy within a like, few minutes and you can get tons of um, resources, crafting parts that way. <coughs> there is two locations I found in House for, well, Houndfield and Trinity where you can get around 40, 50 pieces of scrap so you don't really have to pay for it even though it's one gold for one scrap, but along these shops you'll end up finding a ton of loot, um, tr trophies such as in common, so it all depends on if you want to buy it for one gold or you want to go searching for it in these two locations and getting trophies and other loot. Sometimes you get weapons, you get arts, in, arts inside, um, electronic pieces. It is a secondary location in Trinity, which is where you can get around the same route. 
in the shop areas, you can, well, depending on what shops you go to, you go to the survivor shops, you end up getting different resources, crafting pieces. You go to the peacemaker or peacekeeper shop, you will end up getting different resources. Oh, well, you get more about the same resources, but less. As for the peacemaker or the peacekeepers, you end up finding, um, well, I've got a crafting um, blueprint for the mines and you can also get yourself a bow and arrow, which is pretty useful if you want to end up using different, uh, what do you call it, different arrows, like the infection, the flame, the shock, I think there's like a few more other ones. But you don't want to end up crafting these pieces until you upgrade them because you get more like <coughs> you end up producing two instead of one, then you end up making more damage. For example, the first one be 300 damage, and if you upgrade it three or four pieces, you end up getting 1500 damage, which is um, greatly efficient against the follow tiles because the follow tiles health is around I would say 15 maybe 2000 health seeing how they were killed instantly now the location locations I like go to is in quarry end and the three areas I just marked on the map would be the best places for the loot the one I'm just exploring right now would be the one where you get about two three thousand maybe a bit more depending if you want to sell the crafting stuff such as, well not the crafting stuff but the weapons or the closings now a few of these areas you're gonna have to unlock for the solo purpose I've already unlocked everything so you can just see me going in and grabbing everything it's obviously for obvious reasons they're not already open if you look at the bottom center you can see i've got 27k before i walked into there i had 24k but this is my normal locations i love to go to, to but if you've not got better locations go for it <coughs> As for the mines and the um, autopilot lights, I do buy them, even though they're not, well, the quality um, of the explosions are not that good because they're lower levels. So it's all depend these are last resorts for me, but they don't do as much damage because you're going to have to get a lot of them unless you've got the highly high grade ones. There you go. So if you do it right, in the end, you'll get around 30 unique pieces and rare pieces you there may be a few uncommon pieces but most of it will be unique and rare and if you do buy resources you do, will get your money back because you will get the poor core gifts you'll get smartphones um the legendary ones so legendary smartphones are around 600 Now when it reaches around 7am in the morning, they will run away, so if you want to chase them, you can, but they will still attack you, so beware of that, because if you do die, you will lose everything you earned. So that's that for all that, thanks for watching, feel free to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff.